Okay, so welcome to our Simple Booklet tutorial. Uh, this is the multimedia presentation tool that we are going to use for creating our Macbeth projects. So when you guys get onto simplebooklet.com, you can sign up for a free account. Um, right here, just email address, password, password, sign me up and you'll be all set. I, however, already have an account, so I am going to sign in. And so when you first sign in, up will pop this. You have the opportunity and option to purchase this software uh, and go pro if you wanted to do something a little fancier for like a senior project or something like that or in the future. However, we are going to simply make a new simple booklet. Another option is you can convert PDF files to a simple booklet, which is actually really nice if you have a number of PDF files that you have created for a project and you want to convert them into a, a cool flipbook. So what we're going to do is, is pick our format. All of these little questions up here help you make your decisions. Uh, it's, this is designed for marketing. We, however, are using it for educational purposes, so you can mess around with it a little bit as you're deciding how to create this. So let's, we'll, we'll go medium slider. You're gonna name your, sim your, your simple booklet and we'll name ours test. Miss B, describe your booklet, practice. So then you get to start designing your booklet. You can see that this is where your title will be, and there you go. Uh, and this first thing, and it, the, the really great feature, lots of features of this simple book, because it, it truly is simple. You just pick a theme, so there's my theme. Um, you can change the way that you flip the pages. I'm a big fan of arrows, so I'm going to pick something that's an arrow. Let's just do white circle and let's make our border thicker. Great. Okay, um, you also have the option to pick a page transition and we've learned from presentation tools like PowerPoint that transitions can be distracting so you want to be consistent. Um, I like the idea of the page flip because I, I do, even though this is an online book, I like the idea of flipping. And let's say we want to go into a black hole when we transition, and this will be manual. Okay, then this says, okay, you've just made it more engaging. Ooh, that's exciting. So then you come up to this page, and you're going to click to add content, and this is the basic content. There's more advanced content down here, and you can mess around with that, but for this, the purposes of this tutorial, we're just gonna take a look at some of these basic features. The first thing that you'll wanna do is create a title we'll name ours this is awesome and you'll see that wow where did it go you can make it bigger you can move it around um, if you look over here you could hyperlink that if you wanted so people could go outside of the book um, and and you can you guys know how to do that kind of thing from other software that we've used so that is an option so again, click anywhere on the page and you can continue exploring some of these text elements. Okay, again, oh no, where'd it go? Here it is. Okay, make it big. You can change it to make it look more appealing. And we'll do the last part, which is a paragraph. Per usual, I'm a big dork. So, again, if, if you can't see all of your text, then you'll want to do that. And you can put that anywhere you want. 
that's great. So that's that's pretty much the option. And again, over here you can change the style of things, um, the border styling, the the padding around it, the background. You can move things up and down. Um, again, you can link anything. So what we're going to do now is go to the next page, and what that will do is again create just a blank document, and you can click to add. Let's try some of the other features. For example, you can add an image from either the web or your computer. In our, in my case, let's take this cute little image of my nephew as Dracula for Halloween a few years ago. There he is. Woo! So adorable. You can also resize it, but just be careful because it's easy to distort. Woo! And um, you obviously want to keep keep it simple and keep it clean. Um, you can also embed videos. So there's the embed code that you can get from things like YouTube or whatever. You can download it from the computer if you've created it, which you'll some of you will. And you can also just type in the URL. So in this case, the last URL that I looked at was this. Okay, so let's say I don't want this. I can simply delete little JD. Bye, buddy. And then keep this open if you want to. Now remember, if I wanted to type something in and, and then hyperlink it, that would be fine too. So I'm just going to not play a lot in of it for you, but it's pretty cool because they can watch it right in there. So if you guys need to incorporate a video, you can do that. And the other things that you can do for shapes, for example, you can add like a square onto the page. And do all kinds of things like that. So right now it seems as though it may be a little bit slow. So I'm going to leave you with that and give you an opportunity to mess around with a little bit. Maybe you can make your own kinds of test booklets and see the other kind of advanced features and things that you might be able to work with. So good luck and have fun and don't get too stressed out and enjoy.